How do you think? How can you recognize it's a proper, it's a proper uh, dharma? Anh sẽ nhận được đó là cái pháp chính đại. Yes, chào anh. Quên? As the master. Very good. Hỏi uh, uh, thầy. Uh, what if the master does not know? Là, là trường hợp mà trường hợp mà ông thầy ông biên sao? What is the answer? Wait until what? Wait until he is available. <laughs> no, what if the master, the teacher you ask, does he really know? Oh, if he doesn't know? What if he doesn't know? How, how, how can you be sure your teacher knows? That's the problem we all have. Okay? Unlike you, when you only come to the temple once a week, if you're lucky, or we are lucky, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, for us, we devote our lives, the large left home people, we devote our lives to pursue this path. How do we know it's the right one? How do we know? Tại cái vị biết không? Cái vị người tài gia không nói gì là tại vì cái vị uh, không có thỉnh thoảng tới chùa là thỉnh thoảng tu một tí thôi thì không sao. Rồi những người như chúng tôi, người xuất gia nó sẽ biết là cái pháp là cái pháp đúng như vậy. How do you know? Bhante Ratana, how do you know? It's the right path. Oh boy. I'm, I'm really forcing the Venmo uh, Bhante here to improve his English very quickly. It's not, <laughs> hello, how are you today? It's like, what's wrong with my life? <laughs> <laughs> Ừ. Ông thầy này tội lắm, mới qua mới được chứng ước chân ráo mới 1 tháng mà thầy là học tiếng Anh chưa xong thì ta bị hỏi là ngày hôm nay ở thầy có khỏe không? Thầy nói ngày hôm nay uh, ngày hôm nay làm sao cuộc đời tôi có ý nghĩa. Và ông phải trả lời yes, go ahead. How do you know? Good morning everybody. Ừ. So I think we have to understand our uh, dhamma and master. Ừ. According to the my uh, idea, yes, uh, we have to understand the uh, dharma and the our master also. The dharma and the master also. Yes. Okay, can you translate that? Okay. Vì thầy uh, Tích Lan thầy nói là muốn biết đúng là không thì phải biết cái hai chuyện. Thứ nhất là cái pháp thứ nhì là cái người 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 thầy. Yes, please continue. How interesting. Mm. Because uh, in our Theravada Sutras mention uh, not only uh, we don't want to put our priority on Dhamma, or not only the Master. Uh, you want both or you want just one or two? We want both. You want both? Yes. Theo truyền thống của nghiên thủy được của Thầy, Thầy phải chú trọng hai cái cái bên luôn. Yes. But uh, not everything depends on the master. Everything depends on the master. Đều tất cả đều lệ thuộc vào ông thầy. Yes. Uh, step by step, we have to uh, get uh, understand about dhamma, mm -hmm. and then we can uh, understand about the master also. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but uh, first thing is we have to put our priority in the Dhamma. Mm -hmm. So when we gain some understanding about Dhamma, then we uh, 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 get values on Master also. Ah. Yes. So what, uh, let me restate it for you. First of all, you learn about the Dharma, the, the method, and in learning about the method, then you also are supposed to learn about the, the master, the teacher as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why would you want to learn about the teacher? What, 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 are, what is your purpose? Thứ nhất mình phải học cái pháp, thứ nhì trong khi mình học cái pháp mình sẽ hiểu được người thầy hơn. Thì thầy hỏi, hiểu người thầy về cái gì? What is it you trying to understand about the teacher? Because uh, as a devoted people, 
as uh, as devoted people we have dedicated our uh, many things to practice our practice uh, dhamma so uh, when we want to get right thing from dhamma so the uh, we have to con- consider that uh, the master also uh, give to us the right thing according to dhamma mm-hmm. so i think uh, but uh, buddha has explained this in his last sermon mm-hmm. uh, Yoko Ananda Maya Dhammo Cha Vinayo Cha Jeshito Panyato So Mama Chayena Acharyo All right, <laughs> that's, that's, that's Pali for? Yes, its mean is uh, if I have uh, preached any Dhamma and Vinaya the teachings and this uh, uh, disip- discipline mm-hmm. This is the you are teacher. I see. Hmm. Yes. Okay, so it is a very uh, Rathana says that um, uh, y- you the you learn about the Dharma and then you, the, the Dharma and then in learning the Dharma you learn from the teacher and you learn with the teacher you want to make sure that the teacher teaching is consistent with the Dharma, right? Uh, and ultimately, ultimately. The ultimate teacher, as the Buddha's last words is, morality, precepts, mm. vinaya. Both, dhamma and vinaya. Yeah, vinaya, Teaching, is, uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, thì thầy nói, thầy nhắc lại, thầy, uh, thầy uh, Tích Lan nhắc lại là uh, uh, mình học Pháp, học cái, cái, cái chính Pháp, Pháp đúng là sau khi mình học Pháp như vậy thì mình hiểu người thầy mình dạy đúng với cái Pháp. Thì cái người thầy dạy cái lời dạy người thầy nó, nó uh, chính xác và nó, nó tương ứng với pháp mà Đức Phật dạy và sau cuối cùng cuối cùng uh, là một cái cái quan trọng nhất đối với mình là cái giới luật và cái pháp. Ok. Anyway, it's boring to you. What do you think? Why? What? What is? Uh, how do you recognize it? Hmm? The rest of you. How do you recognize it's a, it's a proper dharma you should practice? Okay, it's just the same thing. You don't, you go out, hop in your car, you know exactly which way you're going to take, right? To get what you want. Mm. If you take the wrong road, you're gonna, you, not, you won't get there. As simple as that. Okay? Thật giống như vị lên, mỗi ngày mình lên, lên xe, lái xe vậy, phải nhận ra con đường mình đi, trên đường nào để tới cái mục tiêu của mình. Không, không đi trật đường sao tới được. Yes. Sarah. Um, Read sutras. Read sutras. Okay. Why? Why? Why is this? Why do you need to read sutras? Because that's the original Buddha's teaching. Very good. Okay. Okay. That's right. That's how you learn the Dharma by reading the sutras, right? Because it records the Buddha's exact teachings. Thì thứ nhất con ơi, đại hạng con nói là đầu tiên hết mình nên đọc kinh. Đọc kinh là tại vì kinh là cái lời dạy của Phật. That's very good. In the Theravada Tripitaka, in Mahaparanivana Sutra, mm-hmm. it has mentioned very clearly. And in uh, we call Sutra Pitaka. In Sutra Pitaka is Kalama Sutra. Yes. It also mentioned this uh, reason very clearly. The, right. You have to put your priority on dhamma and discipline. Right. Here's a problem. Okay. Very good. So let me uh, uh, let me uh, uh, put it this way for you. You know, you suppose since you want to learn about the proper technique, the proper dharma. Okay. First of all, uh, the uh, the wisest teacher. From a Buddhist perspective, is the Buddha. Okay. Bây giờ quý vị biết mình cần học cái pháp, mà quý vị biết cái người mà có trí huệ nhất trên cái thế gian này là Đức Phật. That's why you should consult his teachings. 
We all agree on that, right? If you believe that God is the wisest person on earth, you should be consulting the words of God. Okay? Simple as that, right? Thành quý vị cũng giống như bên công tông công chúa giáo quý vị nghĩ là đức thượng đế là cái vị mà có trí huệ nhất thì quý vị nên đọc những cái lời dạy đức thượng đế để học cái pháp của ngài. So we need to consult the teachings of the wisest person. Agree on that, right? Why? Because as the wisest person knows what's best for you. Cái người mà có trí huệ là người mà có thể giúp quý vị nhiều nhất They can be most beneficial for it The teaching is most beneficial for it Okay, so you read the teachings The problem arises this And this is, I'm explaining along uh, I'm elaborating the principle behind Virmu Rathana's explanation Okay, and thầy chỉ giảng thêm Cái lời mà thầy Tích Lan giảng uh, And basically uh, It says You learn about the Dharma, learn about the Buddha's teaching, okay? But you don't always, you can't always understand what he means. Để cái khó là cái lời dạy của Phú Kinh, của Phật, hay là của Thượng Đế, chưa chắc mình hiểu được. You don't necessarily are able, are capable, you, you, you can't always understand it. Mình hiểu không được. That's where the Master comes in. Đó mới gặp cận Thầy. Right. So you need like, The Venerable Ratana says, he says, you, in the process of learning the Dharma, you, you learn more by the teacher. Because the teacher, whether he or she is able to elaborate and explain, help you explain clearly what the Buddha means or what God means. Then, chẳng hạn như, khi bị học đọc kinh, đọc đọc kinh điển mà không hiểu được thì phải cần hỏi một cái người có có trí thức mà hiểu được thì nên hỏi người thầy thì người thầy khi vị sẽ khám phá ra người thầy có hiểu được là không hiểu được cái lời dạy của kinh. Are we making sense? So we think the process that the objective is to understand more about the Dharma. Okay, mình vẫn tìm hiểu cái pháp, right? And the Dharma is clarified by the teacher. Nên cái pháp mà được người thầy rồi cái đèn vào. Because the fact of the matter is that none of us can possibly understand the depth of these wise teachings. Tại vì sự thật là những cái tất cả chúng ta không ai có đủ khả năng để mà hiểu được cái chiều sâu của cái lời dạy. We all agree on that, right? We're limited. There's so much we can see, so much we can understand. Mình chứ sức mình có hạ, mình có thể thấy được bao nhiêu, mình có hiểu được bao nhiêu thôi thôi. That's why we need someone who's more experienced, who's better than us, that can help you understand. À, người thầy, mình cần những người thầy. That's the role of a teacher, right? And Vinod Ratana is very experienced. He's been a monk for how many years now? Long, long time. You can see the white hair in his face, his head. Những người thầy này làm là thì từ thầy tu lâu năm rồi, hơn hai chục năm rồi. Okay, thành ra kinh nghiệm lắm. So he's doing the right thing. He tells it, okay, so you say, is the teacher's explanation consistent with the Buddha's teaching? That's what you're supposed to check, right? And đọc như vậy, thì mình có ai thử được cái lời dạy của người thầy có đúng mới theo cái nghĩa của Phật không? Okay? Right? And ultimately, you don't put it right, you don't, you don't put a link, but maybe it's I, I attribute it to your, your lack of precision in English. Okay. Thầy nói cái này là tại vì ông thầy ông nói nhưng không rõ ràng Tại vì thầy coi thật cái anh văn còn yếu How do you verify that the teachers is consistent with the Buddhist teaching? You cannot Again, you don't have the wisdom okay. Quý vị biết không? Làm sao quý vị uh, check được là cái lời, thầy, lời dạy người thầy nó có lý với cái Phật được You don't always, you cannot always recognize it. Am I correct? Can you? Uh, yes, not always, but uh, uh, when we deal and when we uh, uh, <coughs> explain, <coughs> when we explain something, so and if 
I have, if, if I have gained some understanding about teaching, so uh, th then we can uh, compare. Uh, even if you are unable, you, see, you, you are able to see consistencies, right? As you learn along, okay? À, khi cái việc càng tu càng biết pháp thì càng ngày càng thấy càng hiểu pháp thì càng ngày cái lời dạy càng thấy được người lời dạy người thầy có nó có is this is this is the teacher's explanation consistent agree with the teachings mình thấy được lời dạy lời dạy của thầy nó có có nó có tương ứng với cái lời dạy không có lời kinh điển không number one number two what you talked about is that you also look at the morality The teachings is a teaching about goodness. I, I, I don't know the Catholic teaching, so I let, allow me to stick for today, if you don't mind, to the Buddhist teachings only, okay? Because I would tell you that, I, as far as I know, even like I venture to, uh, to say that even in Catholicism, uh, they talk about the Ten Commandments. What is it? It's about goodness it's all about goodness okay same thing our vinaya is about goodness we teach you about doing only the good things and undoing the bad things right not doing the bad things cana bên phật giáo chúng ta những bên công giáo tôi công giáo có cái mười mười cái mười cái mười gì ha mười cái mười cái luật giới luật của phật của thượng đế tạo ra thì đó là cái giới luật đó là là về cái 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 thiện à, thì Phật giáo mình cũng vậy Phật giáo mình cái giới luật bên Phật giáo mình cái quan trọng bên mình là mình học cái thiện mình ở trụ ở cái thiện và tránh cái 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 ác ok so so another way you can check for as Venerable Rathana says is that even if you don't understand the 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 depth of the teaching you is instinctively you know what's good and bad what's right and wrong ok mặc dù không hiểu được cái chiều sâu của lời dạy như được biết cái trong cái thâm tâm quý vị quý vị hiểu được nhận nó được cái thiền và cái ác ok and that is that supersedes everything cái thiền ác là nó, nó, nó quan trọng hết tất cả hơn hết tất cả think about it If you claim you're wise, nếu quý vị thực sự mà nếu thực sự mà nói là nghĩ mình có trí huệ, then you will never do any harm. I can assure you that. Okay, you never do any harm. Hmm. You are, you don't do evil, you do goodness. That's what it's about. Okay. Thành ra nếu thực sự quý vị có trí huệ thì quý vị sẽ không bao giờ làm cái chuyện ác đâu, không làm cái chuyện uh, tà ác đâu. Ok. Mà chỉ khi đi làm chuyện tốt thôi. We agree on that? Ok. Any, anything else? Có, có ý kiến gì khác không? Does it help? It's about... It's about... If you want to have wisdom... Vì, I repeat, if you have want to have wisdom... Your evolution towards wisdom is to become a better person. That's what it's about. Okay. The path you're taking is that yes, we are still working at it, but but we our aspiration is the practice will bring you, will elevate you, make you more lofty, will make you become a better person. And that is how you can become happier. You know that the happiest person on earth are the, the kindest and the nicest people. That's the Buddha. Anh khi biết không? Cái, 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 cái con đường mà tu hành đó, nó cuối cùng nó phải đi tới cái thiền. Cái thiền là cái, cái, cái quan trọng nhất. Tại cái người mà có trí huệ không bao giờ hại người khác, không bao giờ làm chuyện tà ác không bao giờ chỉ làm chuyện thiện cái đó thiệt sự có trí huệ okay. và cái đó mới là đưa tới cái chân hạnh phúc
cái hạnh phúc là từ cái sự cái thiện từ cái tốt chứ hạnh phúc không thể nào có trong cái ác được cái because let me assure you it's impossible for you to be happy if it is at the expense of hurting someone else you cannot feel happy I will tell you I can assure you that thì cảm ơn cái gì nếu cái gì cái hạnh phúc cái gì đó không thể nào dựa trên cái cái sự bất hạnh là sự hại của người khác không thể nào có được It's impossible Why? Tại sao như vậy? Because if whatever, however you justify yourself in hurting someone to get what you want Tại vì nếu như mặc dù quý vị bất cứ dùng cái lý luận nào, cái lý do nào để mà tự đính chính Để mà nói là tôi hại, tôi làm hại người ta tại vì tại vì tôi có cái lý do Như nó You may get what you want Quý vị có thể có đạt tới mục tiêu của mình But in the back of your mind Right here, behind here, in your heart, you feel you feel something is wrong. You feel it's not right. Something is off, and it's some some kind of remorse, some kind of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, uh, internal shame that bothers you. Okay, and if you choose to ignore it long enough. Then you become truly, truly evil. And if you're evil, I don't, I don't see how you can be possibly be happy, because you bring unhappiness to everyone else. How can you possibly be happy yourself? You bring unhappiness to your your husband. You bring unhappiness to your daughters. Okay, how can you possibly be happy? Okay. Uh, all right. Any questions about this? Yes. What if, <clears throat> what if the person has more function in the brain and can't feel what is... You mean like only a thoughts but not in action yet? No? Like, you know, some people have mental disability or... Yes. So they don't, they harm, they, they hurt but not intentionally? Right. So what, how, how... Like if if you are blessed enough to know that you know you feel wrong that you are hurting somebody so you don't do it, but what if people that don't have that ability? Mm -hmm. Do they do they uh, do, are they like that because they did something bad in the past, or is it going to influence in the future for their lives? There's different combinations. It's a good question. Cái hỏi là trường hợp chẳng hạn như như khi mình biết được là xấu với tốt. Thì trường hợp có những người không hiểu được cái sự cái, 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 cái xấu thì sao okay. thì những cái trường hợp nó là sao thì thầy trả lời là có nhiều có nhiều cái khía cạnh khác như There's so many different variations okay. uh, it's not about what others are I'm only addressing this with all of you today it's about you recognizing right or wrong It's about you recognizing that if you want to get what you want to get to your destination, you have to practice the proper thing, the proper methodology. Okay. If someone else cannot recognize good or bad, it's a problem they need to address themselves. It's beyond you, beyond me. It's, it has to be a specific person before we can try to address it. Does it make sense? We can't simply talk in theory, Shana, because Because it's so, so many combinations and permutations, it's just impossible to talk about all, cover all the grounds. Okay. The objective is, you know, going back to the theme of today, you should be able to recognize what is the proper dharma, right? The dharma selecting eye. Is this a proper thing? Then let's follow it. It's not, let's improper, let's get out. Okay? Let's not get engaged with this thing here because It will bring us into trouble. It will be a waste of our time. Nên cái vị thì trả lời lại cái đó là nó nhiều cái trường hợp khác nhau trả lời không được. Cái từng người đó, từng người thì giải thích, giải quyết cái trường hợp cá nhân mỗi người thì nó khác, nó dễ hơn. Thì nói muốn trở về lại cái vấn đề ngày hôm nay là mình muốn nói về cái trạch phát nhãn, thì mình phải nhận ra cái phát nó đúng là không đúng. Ok. So you recognize it. Uh, By, uh, by listening, by reading the sutras. This is the summarize. Thank you, nhận cái pháp bằng cách nào? Quý nhận nguyên pháp bằng cách đọc kinh. Okay? You recognize the reading sutras. You recognize by studying the teachings. 
uh, nhận ra bằng cách mình học cái những cái lời giảng. Okay, that's why that's why we spend a lot of time. Well, I spend a lot of time in the last several years to explain sutras. Okay, because to help you understand what the sutras mean. Mean. Ta bởi vì thầy bỏ bảy năm trời này, bảy tám năm trời này, bỏ rất nhiều nhiều giờ để mình giảng pháp cho quý vị nghe, giảng những kinh cho quý vị nghe. Tại sao vậy? Tại quý vị không có hiểu kinh. You know, I talk to my 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 monks here, and they tell me, you know, it's amazing. Now you learn more about. It seems that people read sutras then they misunderstand sutras. Tại vì sao? Thầy nói chuyện mấy cái vị sai di này họ nói là nó đã ra đọc kinh trước giờ mà cứ tưởng mình hiểu kinh thì ra không có hiểu kinh. Okay, it's very important to recognize that uh, in Mahayana, by the way, Bhante. Uh, we uh, we uh, uh, we uh, emphasize uh, choosing the proper teacher. That's what Shana said. Bên đại thừa mình đã chọn người thầy. Okay. Because we skip the one step, nên bỏ cái lưu tình. We don't even worry about the sutra teachings. Mình không cần học học kinh. Nữa. Okay. Because if you find a teacher who does not explain sutras, hmm. what do you do? Move on. Right? <laughs> Because the teacher is supposed to help you understand what the Buddha is teaching. See, if the teacher does not explain sutras, then he's not providing you depth. Easy. Thật ra, quý vị thấy người đi đường tắt, Em bên đại thừa mình, mình chọn người thầy ngay lập tức mình cần mình cần chọn kinh tại sao vậy? tại người thầy mà giỏi tự động phải giảng kinh với quý vị nghe tại cái bốn phần bốn phần người thầy là phải giảng giúp quý vị hiểu cái kinh vì cái giáo viên theo from my perspective the teacher is supposed to help you verify that he's consistent with the Buddha's teachings Ok. Thì chỉ nói quái. Giờ đối với thầy, cái người thầy giỏi thường thường phải quan trọng cái sự giúp đỡ quý vị thấy rằng cái lời dạy của mình nó tương ứng với lời dạy của Phật. Tại sao như vậy? Why is that? Bạn thầy, why is that? Why is it so? Why is it the teacher wants a good teacher wants to make sure help you and make sure that you understand that Her teaching is consistent with the Buddha's teaching. It's not going to disguise it. You say, okay, let's see if you agree with that, that, that my teaching is, is consistent with the Buddha's teaching or not. Why is that? Hmm? So instead, instead of distorting the Buddha's teaching, he says, this is what the Buddha says. This is what I say. Okay? Yes. So the teacher wants to make sure you understand it's consistent. It's part of the teaching is make sure it's consistent, that you understand it's consistent. Why is that? That's how you. Yes, Anna? You mean by the examples? I mean, you mean the way the teachings of the Buddha? Yeah. Uh, is the question why? Is it? Why would the teacher, a good teacher, its job is to make sure that you see the teaching is consistent? Hmm? There's many reasons. One, one, one reason is, is that, is that yeah. if you, uh, if you, uh, if, if you, um, you, you, your understanding verifies, it's kind of different. It's kind of difficult to, for you to understand. If you really understand it's consistent, it means you're making progress. You're making progress because you see that it's, it's consistent. Mm, that makes sense. That's, that's you continue to make progress. That's why you see it's consistent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, so the, the 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 teacher from our from my younger perspective, we we pick a teacher first. Okay, we choose a teacher. We don't choose the Dharma, we don't worry about the Dharma because we realize that the Dharma is too profound, it's too vast. 
You see that? It's like this much. You as a lay person kneel. Okay? How much time do you have? You only have this, you know, half an hour to deal with, with you know, two hour, an hour to come to, to, to meditation and that's all you have. You cannot afford to sit there and look at this vast ocean and say, I, you, I have no idea what to, to get started. Right? You can't. It's too vast. That's my first exposure to Mahayana. I said, I don't know what this is about. This is way too much. I can't handle this. Tại vì bên Đại Thừa mình chúng ta bỏ cái bước đầu là ngay chọn phá mà tại sao? Tại vì quý vị nhất người tài gia đó, không có thi giờ làm sao dám chọn nhìn cái đại dương được. You need to choose a beach. Okay? And start sunbathing there. Or go swimming there first. You, you can't say I'm going to attack the whole ocean. Right? So you can't. It makes no sense at all to look at the entire ocean for us. Okay? Đại thừa mình rất là thực tiễn Mình nói là làm sao mình nhìn được cái rộng như vậy Những cách nào mình nhìn được cái rộng okay. And uh, Yes we want to learn about the Dharma But it's through a teacher Am I making sense? Yes, yes. The steps are cons- as consistent We just, we just get to, the, get to the, 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 the The heart of it right away It, it needs some Need Someone little, to help some, you how this is how you get going to get started and okay. uh, another thing that uh, when we choose a teacher mm-hmm. uh, buddha has mentioned uh, you have to uh, find five qualities better than uh, the student we have to see the qual- ah, qualities very good from let's teacher. see this is very good see that's he's a, his erda Bhante Ratana is very, very, he, he is very, uh, he knows a lot of sutras, and especially in Pali. Okay, that's why he keeps on reciting my things in Pali every single day, every single time I talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> but he says here, when you choose a teacher, the teacher has to be better than you in five aspects, right? Okay. Đúng, bên, bên Nguyên Thủy thì khi mà quý vị chọn thầy, phải chọn người thầy mà hơn quý vị trong ba cái, ba cái đặc tính. Yes, you remember what those five are? Yes, first one is Sadha. Sadha, yes. Sadha means uh, uh, understanding and faith. Understanding and faith? Yes. Okay, both. hiểu và cái lòng tin. What is understanding and what is faith? Understanding faith means uh, the the, the meaning of the uh, Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. Okay. Yes. Faith, you know that. Uh, uh, and next one is Sila, morality. So the Buddha, the teacher has to understand more about the Dharma than you, right? No, no. The faith which has a uh, Reasonable faith, not unreasonable faith. The teacher, I don't know, I don't quite understand your point. The teacher here is better than you. Yes. In what always. aspect? Yes. In his understanding of the Dharma. No, it is the last one. The Sadha, Sila, Sutta, Chaga, Panya. Panya is last one. Okay. First one is Sadha. Sadha means uh, understanding reasonable faith. What does it mean? Give example. You know that when we uh, we can explain faith uh, many uh, ways, uh, devotion and this kind of the, the devotion on the gods and devotion. Uh, uh, it is not Buddhist uh, thing. Devotion is not Buddhist thing. According to Theravada tradition, the devotion is not Buddhist thing. It is on the. It belongs to the. Uh, uh, the other religion, the devotion. Yes. Faith. Faith is uh, reasonable faith. Reasonable faith. Yes. Why does the teacher have to be better than you in reasonable faith? Uh, we call it sraddha because uh, 
the faith uh, build uh, with understanding or without understanding. Okay, let's go on to two. I'm not sure I understand. Number two is what? Uh, Sila is morality. We, we Better than you, morality. Yes. yes. Number three. Sadda uh, Sila Sutta is uh, uh, he has the more experience about the uh, practicing. So he knows mm. the mm. practice. Yes. Yes. Number How? four. Uh, chaga means uh, generosity. Generosity, okay. Yes, yes. Number five. Five is wisdom. Wisdom. Mm, panya. Okay. And faith, the first one is reasonable faith. Yes, reasonable. Meaning, he is Meaningful what? faith. Meaningful faith, I think, yes. Meaning what? Meaning means, uh, you know, as a Buddhist, we do many things. Uh, meaningful thing and meaning uh, less things normally uh, as a uh, way to the way to uh, liberation we select many uh, ritual and things as Buddhist uh, things so then we have to uh, do this kind of things uh, meaningfully so if one te if a teacher has a, a reasonable f uh, faith uh, or meaningful faith, so then it is very important to uh, he uh, his become a, a teacher. So as a student, uh, we have to understand that, and teacher also has to. Uh, a higher level of that uh, reasonable faith. It's not clear to me what you mean by that. There's some overlap here in the five aspects. Mm -hmm. I don't understand about sila, yes. morality. Second one. I understand about experience, number three. Yes, sutta, yes. And number four is Chaga. Kind, uh, it's generosity. Chaga. I understand that, yes. that's important. Yes. Number five, wisdom, I understand that. Yes. But number one, I don't understand why faith. What is what faith refers to? These are very important aspects, I agree. But you know, I don't understand number one. Uh, you know, some, some teachers, uh, we can see they advise to uh, do this thing, do this thing, but uh, they don't uh, uh, do that kind of things. So, uh, because they have no uh, enough uh, faith, enough faith. So, but uh, I think. Can, can I put it in terms of being good example? Mm -hmm. Setting a good example, teaching, uh, teaching by doing, teaching by example. No, you know that I can say like this, in our university, we have many uh, teachers, many lecturers, but uh, they, ex they can explain the Dhamma, but they have no uh, faith on Dhamma. They well, they're the not putting it into execution. Uh, they're not doing it, this is only talking. Not, yes, they do their job as a lecturer. Uh, but they don't, they never go to the temple. But, uh, what does it have to do with faith? You use the if word they faith. have faith, they go to temple and as a, as a interview. Oh, oh, I see, yes. Maybe, he's, maybe you're saying he doesn't believe his own words? Like yes, 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 mm, something, words, yes. He does not believe what he's teaching. Yes. Mm. Right? He yes. Say the words, but he's Yes, he so said he's he, not he, putting it into practice. He's not practicing it. Mm -hmm. Yes, with actually, if he, if someone want to practice, then he has to faith on it. Mm -hmm. So that's why faith is. Okay, so let me uh, elaborate. I go back from, uh, I go backwards because I am feel more comfortable going backwards today. Okay, I'm, I'm driving on 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 R. Put my, uh, okay, the five things 
nắm cái 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 khía cạnh mà người thầy phải giỏi hơn mình. Okay. The five things you teach has to be better than you. According to thầy, number one, he's wiser. Thứ nhất, có trí huệ hơn quý vị. Right? It's clear. We agree on that. He's wiser than you. Number two, he uh, is more generous than you. Thứ nhì, uh, là rộng lớn hơn quý vị. We agree on that. Yes or no? Yes. Why is it generosity important to you? Tại sao mình phải rộng lượng? Tại sao người thầy phải rộng lượng hơn quý vị? So you know that he's not greedy. Teacher has to be an example. <cười> huh? Teacher has to be an example. Shana says so that so that he's not greedy. Để ông thầy ông không được tham lam. Yes. But he's sharing what he learned. Yes, and he has to uh, he has to enough. Uh, Uh, actually here the <coughs> generosity is not uh, the <coughs> external thing his uh, wisdom his uh, compassion and those kind this kind of thing he has to give to the students yeah they all agree <laughs> they all agree yeah uh, i can wrong them. yeah why 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 does teacher have to be more generous than you oh so you know that teacher doesn't give you the teaching for his own interest ah uh, Because ultimately, he's supposed to give. He's not supposed to take from you. Right. Amen to that. <laughs> If he's not generous, he's going to take from you more than he gives you. That's right. Uh, That's why you want to make sure he's more generous than you. <laughs> <laughs> Agree? That's the bottom line. If, you, if I learn from you, Bante, I want to make sure you're more generous than I am. Because otherwise, I go near you, you're going to take more from me than I, I, I give you. <coughs> Then you, you're not teaching me anymore. Because with your wisdom, you, you don't keep your wisdom to yourself. You, you give generosity, the, the generous, um, uh, generous knowledge of, uh, of the Buddha teachings. Bottom line, Anna, is that okay, if someone wants to teach you, He or she has to give you more than than takes from you. That's, very That's why they are more generous. They choose to be give more than they take from you. Agree? Right. That's how they can. It's the only way they can teach you. Otherwise, they take more from you than they give you. Guess what? And one day you're going to get upset and say, "Gee, it's about time you give me something." Okay? And you don't want to learn anymore. So the teacher's job, by the way, is you have to be generous. You cannot be a teacher unless you're generous. That's the bottom line, really. If you are you out there in the teaching profession, you have to be generous. It's an ideal. This is why, this is why the teaching profession is an ideal for idealists. It doesn't pay. We all know that. Okay? It doesn't pay that much. It's not worth it. But you do it because you like to give, because you're generous. You have an idea. You want to give. That's why you become a teacher. See how wise the Buddhist teaching is. It's very, it's very, it's just, just very factual. Mm -hmm. You cannot teach unless you give. Okay. You understand that? Okay. So you have wisdom. You have generosity. Number three, yeah, you are. Uh, you are have more experience, okay? Thứ ba là quý vị có cái cái kinh nghiệm. Why? Because basically, why? Because basically, he has to be able to know how to do it. If he doesn't know how to do it, how how can he train you? Thứ ba là kinh nghiệm. Tại nếu quý vị cái người thầy mà không biết cách làm, sao mà dạy người trò chuyện, người trò cách làm bây giờ? Okay? We agree. It's intuitive, right? It's very good. It makes very much sense. We all agree on. We all. It's clear to everyone. Number four, okay, is morality. Thứ tư là cái cái đạo đức. Why is that? Morality, so that he will never hurt you. Okay, you can hurt him, but he cannot hurt cannot hurt you. That's that's face it. Okay, you can do stupid things to him, but he cannot do stupid things to you. Agree? That's how you go near him. Otherwise, he, if he hurts you more than you hurt him, then you better get away from him. Agree? These are very practical, practical reasons. 
Cái thứ tư là quý vị, các người thầy phải có đạo đức hơn quý vị Tại sao? Tại vì người thầy, quý vị tới cần người thầy Mà người thầy thiếu đạo đức, người thầy sẽ hại quý vị You draw near evil people They're gonna hurt you No two ways about it Quý vị tới gần những người có ác, gian ác Người ta sẽ hại quý vị Agree? No two ways about it That's why the morality is important Okay? He has to be more virtuous than you. Cái người thầy phải có đạo đức hơn quý vị. Okay. And finally, number five is reasonable faith. I don't know what he means. Năm là 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 có cái có cái meaning. I believe that he's actually uh, uh, he's actually um, uh, practicing what he preaches. Okay. I don't know. The wisdom. Is it faith? Is it is it he actually doing what he's talking about? Practice what he's preaching. Yeah. You're practicing what you say. You're doing what you claim. You 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 if you say do good, then you also have to actually you have to do it before you talk about it. Is that what you're talking about? I'm not clear. Number number five. Number one. <laughs> I told that example. Some of our lectures in universities. They can explain. They know everything. They right, have right. enough. But they don't do it. They don't do it. They don't. They, they never don't go to temple. Yeah. And uh, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the num number number five uh, is that you have to practice what you preach. He's doing it better than you. Okay. Yes. All right. So actually, that's uh, in Buddhism is called teaching by example. If you talk about witness, you better do it yourself before you talk about it. And then in Phật giáo mình là cái thứ năm là cái vị nói thì phải làm, làm rồi mới nói. In Mahayana, actually, we have a different of a slam. We do it, then we we talk about it. If we if we can't do it, then we don't talk about it. Đại thừa mình mình làm trước khi mình nói, mình làm được thì đừng có nói. Okay, any questions about this? Does it help? Uh, so this this is very good. All uh, these are five aspects are very good. These are common sense, but uh, uh, that intuitively that uh, that uh, me uh, that makes sense to you. But it's good to to point it out to you uh, how how to pick the teacher, right? Then I give you nhận được người thầy một cách năm năm khí cảnh đó. All right, time is up. Uh, we tend to go over time. Uh, so today, that's uh, that's uh, end right here, and uh, go to lunch. All right, and we'll continue our discussion next time. Thank you. Very good. Thank you very much.